Listening Dog Media. This is Children of Margaret, an original podplay by Matt May Productions and Listening Dog Media. Starring Caroline Chesworth as Joanna and Sean Crisco as David. Written by Richard Hearn, produced and directed by Paul Ludden. Bye then, bye. But thank you, ever. No, you're fine. No, you didn't bring a scarf with you. I'm sure it's in your car. No, that's that's it. No, I know. She would have... Thanks for coming. Mum would have been so pleased. The tie is going. God, I thought she'd never leave. Who was that last one again? Mum's oldest friend. Christ, she wasn't wrong. Oh, release the calves. Thank God that's over. I don't think this tie is going to see the light of day for a while. <sighs> hey, Uncle Jack next, you reckon? Jack? My money's on his daughter. She wasn't shy around the buffet. First in, last out. <laughs> she said grief has made a hole, a crater more like. <laughs> yeah, we should clear up. Oh, let's just sit here a while. We've been the ones doing all the work, unlike some. What? Don't give me that look. You know who I'm talking about. Of course, I know. Oh, it's strange being in here without Mum. I keep thinking she's going to come in here offering us snacks. Tea, coffee, biscuit, sandwich. British, British Rail. Rail. <laughs> <laughs> Soft drink. Nuts. Return ticket to Loughborough. <laughs> Sis, you uh you alright there? Oh, it just hasn't sunk in yet. Mum gone. Just one year after dad. Hmm. What did you think of the service? Did Thatcher really say that to Mum in 1984? <laughs> he seemed very impressed Mum used to clean for her, Thatcher. He went a bit off piece, though, didn't he? The lady's not for bleaching <laughs> and all that stuff. There's no such thing as sif. Oh, <laughs> go on. Go on, do, Dad. I'm not having that damn woman's name mentioned in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm married to two bloody Margarets. <laughs> I actually love the fact they have the same name. Do you know, she only cleaned Thatcher's flat in Finchley for eight months. And she talked about it for the next 30 bloody years. Her brush with fame. <laughs> what was the other thing the vicar said? Mum attacked the skirting boards on the same day the Belgrano got sunk. That one was true. She never got the credit. She never got the credit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is uh, Alan still in America? No. He wanted to make it back. He loved Mum, but I said no. What's the point? She won't know. How's your... Um, what's the name? You've not mentioned her recently. We're not together. And? There's no and. I'd finish my sentence. Mm. Was it complicated? Not really. She, uh... Oh, nothing. Hey, someone's left the bag. Whose bag? Well, their own bag, I assume. I know that, silly. I'll look inside. Can you do that? Oh, I do believe I can. Oh, that's weird. What's inside it? Nothing. You can tell me. What's inside it? No, I mean, there's nothing inside it. Who brings an empty bag to a funeral? Maybe it matched their outfit. Isn't that the sort of thing women do? You know, take empty bags to funerals. Oh, you really know women, don't you? To match their outfit... OK, yeah, so we've got a black bag. Whose outfit does that match? At a funeral. Mm, let me think. Everybody? <laughs> but actually saying that, I know who this bag is. 
I remember the strap. It's bloody Ellen's. Ellen came with an empty handbag. And she's left it. Your sister. Your sister too. She's probably too busy talking to Manuel to realise. Miguel. Whatever. All Greek to me. Portuguese. Whatever. Well, she'll have to come back and get it. It'll make a change. Her working for something. We should clear up. Why does she get off scot-free? She doesn't pull her weight. Not that... Did you see her tonight? There's not much weight to pull. She's been running. Never trust a runner. What are they running from? That's what I want to know. What I'm saying is, we're the ones having to do the meet and greet, and she was text, text, text to Manuel. Miguel, she is the youngest. Exactly. Once the youngest, always the youngest. I don't think it's fair. What's not fair? All of this. She'll get the same third as us, even though she does none of the work. Although, what if... She used to look after the cat. Oh, if I hear the story about the cat one more time, I will scream. Well, Mum always said. Yes, I know. David will probably lose the cat and you'd probably sell it. She called it her poor defenceless creature. Mm, Ellen of the cat. <laughs> well, we all have our roles in life. Good luck to her, I say. I hate cats. All I know is I'm knackered and we do all the work. You realise this place is ours now? Mm, it's the banks, really. You know they remortgaged it. Of course I know. You bloody idiot. Why am I the idiot? It was the business. The family business. Yes, and you let it go to pot. The camera shop was Dad's pride and joy. Camera shops are not the future. Yes, but you never wanted to change anything. Do anything. You could have gone digital. I did go digital. Five years too late. I was telling you that years ago. You should have shaken it up a bit. Dad didn't shake it up. And there was so much paperwork, the, the inland revenue didn't help. Dad ran it well. Like little details. And he did move with the times, actually. You just ran it into the ground. It's boarded up, I see. I can't get out the lease. I'm paying 10000 a year for nothing. <laughs> I heard you tell Cousin Peter you were doing well. Oh, just words. They don't always mean anything. Sometimes they're just what you say to make yourself, others, feel better. Anyway, at least I don't... Don't what? I don't try and sell stuff that doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard you. To great aunt, what's her name? That so-called opportunity. It's a holiday exchange. People like holidays. It's timeshare and it's crooked. You've said so yourself. Not you as well. You sound like... Uh, Who? Huh? Them. The others. Some stupid bunch have got together, taking me to court. Miss Selling. It should have got thrown out. It's their fault if they don't read the contract. They're saying I ripped them off. Did you? Solicitors. They're the rip-off merchants. So how's money then? Been better. Mm. We should wash up. David, did you know Mum used to have some stuff? Of Thatcher's. A few letters. And also... And if I tell you, you mustn't tell Ellen. Oh, tell her what? I think there's something of value. But it's us who deserve it. Thirds. You know it has to be thirds. That's what the solicitor said. A third of what they know about. What's declared. Mum had these letters to Thatcher from Ronald Reagan. Oh, Christ. And a bag. A handbag of Thatcher's. Like this one? No, it's not that one. It's an ugly thing. Tortoise shell. But you see, holding it on election night and other times, I told mum, there's no point at going to the tax man. Why should someone else have it? I told her not to mention it. 
There's not enough for inheritance tax. This place. They remortgaged it. The tax man's not going to grab much. Yes, but she might. Ellen. She is our sister. She's entitled to a third. She didn't even bring tonic. We asked her to bring tonic. You're doing this because of tonic. It's not the tonic. I'm saying she hasn't earned it. Not even a third. She hasn't put a shift in. She fed the cat. She might be better than us with animals, but not at the important stuff. At business. At life. Life? Money, jobs, that sort of thing. I'm not sure we've totally nailed that sort of stuff between us. No more reason not to let this slip through our fingers. It's all very well being a poor defenceless creature, but the world is designed for sharpness. You've got to be able to defend yourself. Our parents are gone, David. It's time to stand on our own two feet. You have to look after yourself. Oh, survival of the fittest, the free market. You make it sound bad. 50-50 is better than thirds. But she hasn't got much money. Okay, it doesn't seem right. And what about us? Your lease, my legal bills. We're poor. But we're the deserving poor. So this handbag, these letters. Upstairs, all together. I said, keep the letters in the bag. No safekeeping, no paperwork. It's in that room directly above where Ellen was texting Manuel. Miguel, it's still not right, Joe. 50,000. 40 to 50 was the estimate. And they're just up there? Read my lips, pay off your lease, my legal bills, no paperwork. You might even get what's her name back. It was money, wasn't it? Why she left? What's not to like? The best market is America for stuff like this. Less questions. Mum would want us to benefit. We did organise this. Contact everyone. Make the sandwiches. She couldn't even get the tonic. Her bag didn't match her outfit. What? When Ellen left, you were in the kitchen trying to sell Aunt what's her name the holiday opportunity. She had a bag. Not so this isn't her bag. Well, she had one, but it didn't match. I saw her leave with it. I can picture it now. So you're saying you don't think it's hers? I think it is. I saw it when she first got to you. You're not listening. I think it is her bag. She came with one bag. She left with another. Tortoise shell? That doesn't make any sense. Up. Stairs. Oh. Shit. Why didn't you tell me she was leaving with a different handbag? Well, how was I to know? She came with a bag. She somehow gets a different bag, safe from upstairs, empties her own stuff into that bag. The bag that also contains the letters from the bloody American president. Oh, no wonder she leaves this black bag. I mean, it's nice, but it's not... £50,000 nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. Yes, that was my exact point. Shit, shit, shit. Hang on, it's fine. We know she's got it. We'll tell her. We'll tell the executors. It's thirds all the way. Otherwise, it's not fair. It's not in the estate, is it? Don't you see? Did you not listen to what I said? Oh, God, I did everything in my power to get it unlisted. Disappeared. We can't prove it, then. It's gone, David. It's gone. I made such a good job of making it disappear. Poor. Defenceless. We should uh, clean up.
It's not us, is it? That have cleaned up. The Pod Play. <laughs>